Odell Beckham Jr. Um, this thing has been going on literally throughout this entire season. Where's Odell Beckham Jr. going to land? Who's going to sign him? Who's going to bring him on? Is he healthy enough? And it was sort of seeming like it was trending to him getting ready to sign with the Cowboys or the Giants or the Bills. Those were, of course, the three teams that he visited with. And apparently a couple of weeks ago, it came out that both the Ravens and the Chiefs, they were also keeping tabs on Odell Beckham Jr. as well. So he had his visit with the Giants. Things were quiet. He had his visit with the Bills. Things were quiet. He had his visit with the Cowboys. Then all of a sudden it comes out, hey, well, we don't think that Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be healthy enough to play this year. We got some concerns over his health. And at first I was like, well, I could agree because the way that this thing has been just it's been being carried out and been drawn out and whatnot. It, it, it almost does seem like maybe Odell Beckham Jr. is more focused on next year. Not even necessarily more focused on next year, but his availability will truly be next year. Not even next calendar year, but next football season year rather than this season. But it's still to be determined. Then I was thinking, hold up. NFL is a very nasty business. Um, why didn't I hear this about the Bills? Why didn't I hear this about the Giants? But we heard it. From the Cowboys and the Cowboys have been the team that has openly expressed having the most interest in Odell Beckham Jr. So coincidentally, when he visits with them, now all these reports come out that, oh, they're concerned about his injury. So could this be that they are actually concerned about his injury or could it be that they're trying to scare these other teams that may be interested in Odell Beckham Jr. off? So that's up to you to determine. Now, um, I do think there are legitimate concerns about him his injury about his current health status, especially because this thing has just been taking so long. Like it's, it's been taking forever. Uh, and we we are at the very end of, Ooh, that's so sad. We're at the very end of the football season. We're very close to the end of the regular season and playoffs are coming and Super Bowl are coming. Then boom, we started all over, but we're getting close. So for Odell Beckham Jr. To join the team, it's like, Oh, okay. It's the, the clock is ticking. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But as far as these Baltimore Ravens, um, because the last thing that we talked about uh, was when the report came out that the Ravens were having conversations with Odell Beckham Jr.'s people. And I was thinking when this sort of newest report came out today, I was like, hold up. We never talked with Team Keep It Clean about the, the last report that came out of, about the Ravens and their uh, Odell Beckham Jr. sweepstakes. Um, but as far as the, the last report from, what day was this from? This was from a couple of weeks ago. Um, no, actually, excuse me, from last week, from last Friday. Uh, it's from Josina Anderson. And you know Josina Anderson, she has been covering Odell Beckham Jr., not even just this year, really throughout the entirety of his career, really, his NFL career. Uh, she has been on it, but especially with this whole situation, she is his go-to reporter. She got all the information when it comes to Odell. But... From last Friday, she said, as indicated in the video, in the previous tweet, so she's letting you know, like, hey, hey, you want the information? You got to watch the podcast. You got to listen to the podcast. So I did that. I did listen to the podcast from last week. Then I listened to the one from uh, that she just dropped today as well, uh, just to make sure, see if she said anything different from anything she tweeted. But anyway, uh, she said, as indicated in the video in the previous tweet, Ravens already discussed with Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, how he'd fit in their offense. What to expect from Lamar Jackson over the course of a game recovery status of his knee. My understanding is their focus is on his ability now and evolve from there. So, um, again, that was from last week. Uh, and so just to break that part down, how did he fit in their offense? So if you are possibly trying to bring somebody in, especially at wide receiver, like as a, for Ravens, they would have to do extra selling. Uh, for somebody to, to bring them in at the wide receiver position, especially a notable name like Odell Beckham Jr. Even though he not 100 percent right now, you still have to do extra to entice him on signing. Um, so with Odell Beckham Jr., again, my 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 hopes would not be high for the Ravens to sign Odell Beckham Jr. Um, and even if for whoever signs Odell Beckham Jr., I just. I don't think the focus would really so much just be this year. I think it would really be next season because how much can you really expect Odell Beckham Jr. to contribute to your football team? Now, of course, you want him to. You know what he's capable of. You know what he can do. But how much can you realistically expect him to contribute right here, right now? Next season is a different story, but how much can you expect right here, right now? 
Um, but anyway, how did he fit into their offense? So I'm sure they would explain to him about um, the targets or lack thereof, uh, the, the, the limited amount of targets that he would receive as a wide receiver, what his role would be as a wide receiver. Would it be sort of a um, an anqua? I don't know why I said Anquan Bolden. I, I'm so sorry. I meant Deshaun Jackson. I am so sorry. I, I, I don't know what made me say Anquan. Anyway, would it be more of a Deshaun Jackson type of role where he's out there maybe like 10 plays and like maybe two or three are drawn up for him? Uh, for Deshaun Jackson's case, for him to go deep for Odell Beckham Jr. could be a different number of things. Uh, they would just have to let him know how he could fit in. Uh, the other part, what to expect from Lamar Jackson over the course of a game? That part was really interesting. I was like, "What? What does that even mean? What?" So that that yeah, I I didn't understand that. What to expect? What to expect from Lamar over the course of a game? Uh, so is that more of his play, his style, uh, what he normally does, his tendencies and whatnot? I guess it could be those things. Uh, and then recovery status of his knee. I think that's the most important thing because if depend so much so much depends on that because that's his health. If he's not healthy, he can't play. No matter what team he signed to, no matter the contract. If he's not healthy, he can't contribute to anybody at all. So I think that that's the most important thing. But anyway, and she ended it off with my understanding is their focus is, their focus is on his ability now and evolve from there. And then again, like I told y'all, when I watched the podcast that she was uh, letting people know to watch that said all that stuff, it, she literally said the exact same thing uh, in her podcast. Well, no, that was in a report that she did from either the Bills or the Giants Stadium. I think it was from Giants Stadium. But anyway. Then today, uh, shout out to my guy, Eric Henry. Eric Henry, uh, he asked Justina Anderson. He said, was there ever any more updates regarding Odell Beckham Jr. and Baltimore? And that was from today. Uh, she said, well, that was from early this morning. That was from 11 hours ago. So it was a woof, really early in the morning. Eric, what you doing up so late? Anyway, um, Justina Anderson replied. She said, conversations continue. So conversation between Odell Beckham Jr. and the Baltimore Ravens, they continue. And she said, listen to the podcast and watch the video. It's in there. Scroll back. But yeah. So pretty much the same thing uh, that she was saying last week. The Ravens are still in contact with Odell Beckham Jr. What this means, that they're still in contact with Odell Beckham Jr. They're still keeping tabs on him and whatnot. Uh, we haven't heard of any visits being scheduled, anything like that. I think that's when things would be more serious, when you start hearing about visits. Um, but talking is just talking. And talk is cool, but talk is talk. Uh, and again, I just... Wherever Odell Beckham Jr. ends up, if he even ends up anywhere this year, because she in her podcast from today, she talked about like how with Odell Beckham Jr. She said he obviously had the visits with the Cowboys, the Bills and the Giants. But she said that he's on his way home to sort of take a little rest from all the visiting and stuff and, and think about some stuff. So I'm, I'm really thinking like mm, it's, it's December. Today is December 8th. Um, they're not even they're not even 30 days left in this month. Uh, with Ode that's why my expectations with Odell Beckham Jr. for this season is low because, again, not that he needs to rush anything, he, not that he needs to rush a decision, but the fact that he's just, again, taking his, taking his sweet time, taking his sweet time with this whole thing, it just doesn't seem like things are being thought about for this season. But, again, that, that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel about it. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for being who y'all are. Thank y'all for supporting the channel. Uh, shout out to all the team, keep it clean patrons. And shout out to all the team, keep it clean channel members. Uh, I love all of y'all. I really do. Thank you for what y'all do. And thank y'all for being so special and always being respectful, no matter how you feel about whatever the conversation is that we having on here. I love y'all. Make sure y'all love yourselves and love each other. I appreciate y'all. And we out.